Hey, it's Wes. I get a lot of people that ask me, how do I get my real estate license? Well, be careful what you ask for. it. Um, actually, real estate is one of the best businesses. It's a lot of fun. You can be a part-timer or a full-timer. So what do you need to do? The first step is to sign up for a class. Virginia requires that you take a 60-hour class. You can either go and sit in the classroom for 60 hours. Uh, there are different options uh, you know, during two weeks in a row, Monday through Friday. Uh, there's different locations throughout the, the state, uh, or they have some night class options and some other options that are a couple days a week. Um, if you're not, if you don't need the classroom, you can do online courses. That's what I did, but you have to be very disciplined to get done because once you receive the material, you have one year to take the uh, exam from the course uh, provider. Uh, I recommend Mosley. Uh, they're a pretty good school with a lot of different locations and online options, and the prices are very, pretty reasonable. If you feel feel you need more interaction, then the classroom is probably your best bet. Uh, or if you like online and you're on the go, um, you have that option also. And then there's a, a hybrid where you can do both through one of their programs. That's just one of the companies that provides uh, education to SIP. The license exam is made up of two portions. There's a Virginia portion and the national portion. So uh, I have an agent here in my office that also practices in Florida. Uh, and she does quite well because she's got um, a sphere of influence in both areas. So she continues to, to get business from both states. Um, once you have taken the classroom exam, uh, you can do it through proxy or go to their school to take the exam to show that you have mastered the material either through the classroom studies or online, You'll, they'll give you a certificate. Then that certificate, you need to take another exam. Uh, for Virginia, it's done through PSI examination services. Uh, they have super slow computers. So once you finish your test, the computer is calculating and you gotta wait like three or four minutes to think to find out if you passed. That's a little stressful. But once you've done that, then you get that piece of paper that says that you've passed the exam. Then you need to pick your real estate company. Where do you want to work? There's a lot of great companies and different business models in here. Um, Mobile Some Properties is one that I like. Uh, I, I interview a lot of agents that just passed that exam. So find the right company that fits. Do you want to be part of a team? Do you want to have someone mentor you? Are you going to be specializing in one area of expertise, land, commercial, residential, retirement communities, uh, investments. Um, how much time do you want to put in? You know, what are you looking for from having that real estate exam? You could go on a referral. Um, so I have some folks that said, hey, I've passed the exam, but I'm not ready to slow down with my full-time career, but I don't want to lose my license. What can you do? Well, we have a referral company, so I'll put those licenses in the referral company. That way they don't lose all that hard work that they did to get their uh, license. And then they can continue to send referrals into the office here. And all of a sudden I'm sending, um, you know, referral fees to them. And they can be pretty substantial. Uh, their friends, family, co-workers, friends at the gym may want to buy a house. They make the introduction. And as a referral agent, they can get a referral fee from the commission. Uh, that adds up quite a bit just for making the in introduction. Uh, I also have other agents that have gotten their uh, license and just decided um, it wasn't going to pan out. And so they go from an active full-time agent to a referral agent. Um, but the ones that just get that certificate, just to pass their exam, uh, what do you do now? It's, uh, it's $170. You have to choose your real estate company. So I, I recommend interviewing a couple companies and then you send that certificate with the application down to Richmond. Uh, DPOR is the, uh, the department that manages the licenses. Uh, then usually within a couple weeks, your license comes back. Once your license comes back, you need to join uh, a local association of realtors that will monitor. They provide um, uh, educational classes and also help with the lockbox system for access. And the last thing you're gonna do is sign up for a multiple listing system. Uh, sure, there are many online sites, but there's a proprietary MLS system that has all the private information that realtors subscribe to. You're gonna need that in order to uh, go show houses. I would say, Overall, cumulatively, cumulatively, to go full-time, you're gonna to need to spend about $1,500 to get your license active. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please subscribe, and good luck getting your license. Um, hope to hear from you.